What is up guys, today is June 24th, 2021, and I am back with another quick video. Uh, so today in this video, I'm just going to do a quick knockout round predictions for the Euro 2020 or Euro 2021 um, uh, knockout stages. And I'm going to have to, I guess, I'll submit this on UEFA.com with my account. So if I do win, I guess I'll win something. I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, we're going to get straight into it. So with the first game, round of 16. So the round of 16 will be played starting Saturday, Sunday, and Monday and Tuesday. I think it's going to be... Um, it's going to be two games a day, and we're going to have four match days for the round of 16. Um, not sure if Belgium, Portugal, Italy, and Austria play the first day, but regardless, that shouldn't really change uh, who we think is going to win. So with the first game, we have Belgium and uh, Portugal. So actually, it's going to be played on Sunday. It's going to be played in Spain. And I'm going to have to go with Belgium on this one because Portugal going to the tournament, obviously, were... Uh, we're definitely contenders. Uh, we saw their squad, we saw their lineup, but overall they have not been performing as well as we'd expected them to, uh, finishing the group with, I think, four points. Um, so it was rather shaky, but I think, I'll go with, uh, I think I'll go with Belgium on this one. It was either four or five points, I can't remember. Um, with Italy and Austria, Italy are on currently a 28 or 29 game unbeaten run, so I'm going to have to go with Italy still. Yes, I do understand that Italy's last however many games they have i think it was like it was actually a good number of games where they haven't conceded a single goal but uh, most of them were like second and third tier teams no one no one up there really with all these other contenders but regardless i'm still gonna have to go with italy austria did manage to squeeze themselves into um into a round of 16 spot but i think that will be the end for them uh, in terms of france and switzerland i think the obvious answer here would be france um even though they they did get drawn into the group of death but it's, group, it's the group of death because partially because they're in there and also they were the 2018 uh, World Cup champions. So I'm going to go with France and that's pretty self-explanatory. What's funny is that Hungary um, had, this was, a, this was Hungary's like, I don't even know. They, 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 they don't really go into the Euros that often, but they got drawn into the same group as the 2016 Euro winners, uh, 2014 World Cup winners and 2018 World Cup winners, which are the last three major, major tournaments, which is pretty funny. So that is truly the group of death. Uh, Croatia versus Spain. For this one, I actually see Spain pulling through. They've played extremely high possession. Their finishing obviously needed some um, needed some finishing touches to it, but they did polish up a five nothing win against uh, against Slovakia in um, their final match day. So I'm gonna have to go with Spain on this one. I know how good Croatia are right now, but I'm gonna go with an upset for Spain because I genuinely think they might pull through. Not that I'm a Spain fan or anything. Um, Sweden and Ukraine, the Swedish side have proven to be very strong. They are the dark horse of the tournament so far, so we will put Sweden here. Um, nothing else. Ukraine are on a very good run, but I don't think they're on as good of a run as Sweden. But um, Yeremchuk and Yarmolenko have definitely done very well, and I think either of them may score in that game. England versus Germany. This English squad and this German squad. Oh, man, I don't even know what to say for this. Um, yeah, Southgate's coaching masterclass hasn't exactly proven to the masterclass yes they barely squeezed through you know two wins and a draw but i mean germany's also been germany's been pretty iffy with the 2-2 draw against hungary and they barely made it out of their group uh with only 10 minutes remaining with a goresco header so for this one i'm gonna go with germany this is really a 50 50 for me netherlands czech republic I'm going to go with netherlands netherlands finished their group with nine points strong uh czech republic are very good but might go, to, might go to extra time, but I think Netherlands are going to pull through on this one. And Wales versus Denmark, I'm going to go with Denmark just because they had a better finish to um, the group stage. A very good 4-1 win against Russia. So moving into the quarterfinals, we have Belgium against Italy. I think personally, I'm going to go with Belgium. They're going to end Italy's streak. That is all I'm going to say. France versus Spain, I'm going to put France versus Belgium in the semifinals just to replicate the World Cup semifinals from three years ago. Sweden versus Germany. No, 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 no. I genuinely think Sweden are going to continue their fine form. Yes, I know they've been playing low possession, even against Slovakia, for example, where uh, Slovakia managed to have two-thirds of the possession. But I'm going to go with an upset victory or an underdog win against Germany. And Germany's form will collapse, and Sweden will go into the semifinals. And Netherlands versus Denmark. Well, am I going to say the same? Could it be a Scandinavian semifinal? Could it be? Could it be? I don't think so. They're not going to be able to squeeze through. A Danish side with the lack of Ericsson, but the plus side of being super motivated to push through 
they will go into a very good fight against the Netherlands in the quarterfinal, but I do not think they'll make the semifinal. So we have Belgium versus France, and we have Sweden versus the Netherlands. I genuinely think this French squad can make it all the way to the final. They can win. They can win a World Cup and a Euro together. So I think they can definitely do this. And between Sweden and the Netherlands, I'm going to put the Netherlands in the final because they've been in three World Cup finals and they have not won a single one of them. I'm just going to put them in the European finals for this time. And who will I have win? Ultimately, I want to say France, but I'm just going to put the Netherlands. So it's going to be it's going to be a very interesting bracket. So I think I have I have a very interesting bracket here. So this is all it is. So let me know what you guys think of your predictions. Who do you, th who do you, th who do you guys think will make the final four and who do you guys think will win? Um, and what do you guys think about me picking Sweden? So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch back up with you guys later uh, after, I guess I might just catch back with you guys. I'll check in once a round. So like after the round of 16, after the quarterfinals, semifinals, and final maybe. So this might be like a four or five part series. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.